Yo, what is good, everybody? It is KJ, and I'm back with week two of IBL. So, very, very, very scary team that we're facing. We're facing Crash. Uh, I don't know anything about this player. And yeah, <laughs> they did win their previous match. 5-0, which is very, very good. So they're 1-0, plus 5. We are 0-1, minus 2. Uh, if you want to see last week's game, um, I will warn you, there was a little bit of hacks. It was part of the reason why we're 0-1, minus 2. Maybe not the whole thing. We could have played some turns a little bit better. But in general, I will say that the hacks was pretty rough. <laughs> um, but anyway, going through this team that they have is very scary features Baxcalibur features Zapdos and they have Tinglu which is just an incredible wall so anyway <laughs> um I'm gonna get into the squad that I brought because I'm pretty excited about this so first off we have the first appearance of the Dunsparce so we are Serene Grace here, and the idea is we're trying to get Body Slam Paras, especially if the Espeon comes, which is something that he does have on his team, uh, as you can see. Um, I think just getting rocks up is super, super nice because removal is mortal spin. <laughs> removal is mortal spin, and the deterrent with Espeon. So honestly, I think the Dunsparce is really good here. It does have Roost to make sure that it can just kind of stay alive a little bit longer just in case but yeah i think this thing is super solid and earthquake is there to hit the only thing that doesn't get hit by body slam which is the skeleturge next we have the first appearance of the mian Shao as well so we are protective pads to make sure that we are not taking any ch uh chip from rocky helmets that might be out there i don't expect a rocky helmet but who knows and more importantly, to make sure that if we're clicking knockoff or U-turn, that Zapdos isn't coming in and just absolutely eating the hit and then static powering us. It, it, this is going to be very big. Uh, I, I think if we don't take a para on Mian Shao, we're in a good spot. Mian Shao is faster than the Zapdos, and it does allow us to basically knock off the Zapdos. And if it's a more offensive Zapdos, then knock off into Stone Edge kills 100% of the time. So that is really nice. And even if it isn't, then we just U-turn out on the Zapdos after it switches into a knockoff. And then anytime it wants to come in, it's taking Rock's chip. So that's kind of my, my thinking there. Next, we have the Chiyu. We are a Scarf Chiyu this week. Uh, we do have Overheat and Flamethrower, Psychic and Dark Pulse. Um, that is specifically because we want to be able to outspeed the Baxcalibur if it gets to plus one. So Baxcalibur is a problem for us but like everything on the team hits it and can just do a lot of damage to it so i think we're in a generally a good spot with Baxcalibur. i'm a little bit more worried about trying to break down the tinglu and sort of dealing with the glamora and stuff like that so yeah this thing it just it hits hard like there's a tinkaton but like tinkaton doesn't want to switch into fire moves there's a glamora but like psychic is not something glamora wants to take the Ting Lu is really the only thing that like truly takes hits from this and doesn't kind of fall over. But if we can chip the Ting Lu down, like this thing is a uh, is, is just great. I think this is gonna be probably like our late game sort of win con type mon because we do have a couple of other things that I think are gonna do pretty well. But yeah, next we have the Corviknight and Corviknight. Honestly, it's the same. <laughs> as last week in terms of what it's here to do it's here to sit on the offensive threats that are physically offensive and it's also here to just kind of be annoying be that defensive pivot it is going to be carrying defog this week just because i do want to make sure i can get rid of hazards i do have taunt as well for the ting lu uh body press again to just kind of do damage to everything and lastly, U-turn, because I think that slow U-turn momentum is really, really key here. Like, getting in some of my threats, whether it's the Chiyu or the Mian Shao or the Dragapult that I'm going to be talking about in a moment or the Jolteon that I'm going to be talking about in a moment. Corviknight is just really, really good at getting those Mons in. So, next, as I mentioned, we do have Jolteon again. We are Terra Fairy, so that is our Terra Captain. And... We are a combine variant because if we can get a combine off, this thing goes crazy. Uh, luckily enough, our opponent's team is pretty slow. So we do have some bulk and we are modest. Um, 
yeah, I think this kind of speaks for itself. Electric and fairy coverage do a ton to this team. Um, with the electric resist, like, I mean, he has Ogre Pond Water or Heart, not Heart, uh, Wellspring. Ogre Pond Wellspring, which is neutral to electric. Zapdos, neutral to electric. Um, he does have the Baxcalibur, but that's weak to fairy. And the Tinglu is also weak to fairy. So I think in general, Jolteon does really good here. And so... I'm pretty excited for it. And last but certainly not least, we have a Specs Dragapult. So we do have Draco and we have Draco Surf and Shadow Ball. The only Shadow Ball resist on this team <laughs> is Ting Lu. So if Ting Lu goes down, Dragapult is looking crazy. But I'm gonna get into the game. I appreciate y'all. And yo, let me know what y'all think I could have done differently. And yeah, I'll see you for the match. All right, everybody, we are back and we are facing Crash. So let's see what they bring. Ooh, okay. So no Skeledurge. That's nice. They do bring the Lucario. Lucario is a little scary. We do have answers for it. Fax, Ogre Pond. Okay. So no Glamora. That actually makes... <laughs> Glamora is something that I was very, very scared of. Very, very scared of. Okay, so I think we're good to just kind of click buttons with the Dunsparce then. Yeah, let's lead to Dunsparce and let's let's do this. <sighs> okay. Very excited. Very, very excited. Also, I should probably put my team in the calc. I never do this. I always forget to put my damn team in the calc. But yeah, very excited. Very excited. Hopefully, this is a clean match because I've been playing a few matches that have been kind of rough. Okay. So they go into the Espeon. Okay, perfect. That is actually what we wanted to see because we can body slam here. So this should do a good amount. They use trick. Ooh, we get in specs or a scarf? We get a scarf. Okay. I'm kind of okay with that. Not gonna lie. I am kind of okay with that. And we get the para. Okay. We have a Scarf to Dunsparce, I guess. <laughs> I guess we got a Scarf to Dunsparce. We're not going to outspeed a whole bunch, but we do get the kill. So there is that. Bax comes in. Okay. Well, if we can get a power on this, I'll be very happy. Wow, you're just going to click DD again. Or you're going to click DD here. Okay. We get another para. Okay. I, I mean, I'm just going to keep clicking it. At this point. Because we're faster. Yeah. If they're loaded dice, this hits at least four times. It hits four times. Okay. We're going to get rid of the backs. They might have Ice Shard. Wow. The done. Doing the work. Honestly, them tricking me that scarf is the reason I was able to do that. Falzar, what's this? This is the Zapdos. Okay. We're just going to body slam again. And that did a lot. That did a whole lot. Yeah, I'm going to go into Chi Yu here. I think. I think Flamethrower just does a ton to this. Okay, they withdraw. That's fine. Ting Lu comes in. I kind of expected that. They are lefties, which I'm not surprised about. So, we always go into Corv here. If they double into Zapdos, then, like, good on them. And, yes, I was going to get water and decided, YOLO, we're going to grab a glass of wine instead. It's a, It's Friday. Why not? 
They get rocks up. That's fine. We don't like rocks. So <laughs> we are going to defog those away. We are definitely defogging those away. We hate rocks on this team. We're going to defog. I need to break this Tinglu. If I break this Tinglu, Dragapult is looking absolutely insane. <laughs> um, Dragapult is looking absolutely insane if we break this Tinglu. Also, one thing to note here is he probably ruinations here, right? Oh, Whirlwind. Okay, I'm cool with that. What comes in? Anything that comes in should threaten this. If we get Mian Shao, we're even in a we're in an even better spot. Mian Shao would be so nice here. It's Pult. Not great. <laughs> Not the greatest of of Mons to come in here, but. That is fine. We do have U-turn. So we U-turn on this. And we bring in Mian Xiao. We bring in Mian Xiao here. And I think we start kind of, yeah, Ruination comes out. That makes sense. not super surprised so honestly though yeah no i'm gonna go cc because if zapdos comes in yeah zapdos comes in here but like this zapdos doesn't wanna yeah i mean i guess zapdos could roost close or i think knockoff kills this It does. Okay. So what's left? We've got the Ting Lu. We've got the Ogre Pond. Is that the Ogre Pond? It is the Ogre Pond. Okay. This thing's a little scary. It's okay. I'm going to go into Corv. This is, this is the one mon I'm like a little iffy on. <laughs> I don't know what it wants to do here. It trailblazes. Okay. That's kind of what I thought it was going to do. So, yeah, this thing's a little scary. But I think going into Corv, this is good. We probably could have stayed in and U-turned, but... Oh, okay. We do scare it out. That's good. This is the last Mon, which I cannot remember what it is. It's Lucario. Oh, this body press is about to do a ton. Perfect. I don't see why we wouldn't just body press again. Aura Sphere hits this. That hits hard. <laughs> this is Life Orb. Okay. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. So Corv gets a kill. Iron Noise. Okay. So this thing comes back out. So we U-turn on this for sure. They never click Earth. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They never click Earthquake here. We go into Jolteon. Let's go into Jolteon. Okay, they missed the Ruination. I'm sorry about that. I am sorry about that. We Terra Blast here. We are Terra Fairy. Okay. So I think two of these kills... think if my okay they do click eq we should be able to live that no problem okay so i think my play is so we know i think i might have to let jolteon go down here because we know that the ogre pawn is This is, this is good for us. We know the Ogre Pond's Trailblaze. So, yeah, Tinglu gets a kill. I come in, I click Flamethrower twice, I think. 
yeah, I come in with Chi and click Flamethrower twice. Because... I mean, I do have Dragapult, but I don't... I think it still lives. So we click Flamethrower here. And then on the second one, they're probably not going to expect us to be faster. So... They're not going to expect us to be faster. And I would guess that they're going to either Trailblaze or they're going to... They're going to click Ivy Cudgel. They trailblaze. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So, yep. I think Corv just comes in and clicks U-turn. think this is game. Cudgel. Yeah. All right. So GG to my opponent. We're going to get a, I think, 3-0 win. Yeah, I think we're going to get a 3-0 win here. So, whew, GG. Go check them out. They'll, their link will be in the description below. Uh, this was a fun match. And yo, they have a dope trainer card also. I like the sleeping Lucario. But yo, I'm going to catch y'all later. Thank y'all so much. And we will be back with IBL week three next week. Thanks, everybody. Peace.